Hello everyone, this is Mary. Thanks for watching my video again. This time I go to Nagano for a day trip. Actually, my home is in Nagano, but it's cold in winter, so I overwinter in Kanagawa Prefecture. This time I'm going to pick up an electronic piano and a home bakery which I couldn't take with me when I moved out. I will take the Shinkansen to the halfway point and then change to my friend's car. I could see the autumn leaves through the window until I arrived at my home in Nagano. Let me tell you a little about my Nagano home. Until last year, I was a government employee in Guam working as a teacher. I retired last year and returned to Japan. When my husband passed away 16 years ago, I was thinking to use his insurance money he left to me to buy a house for my retirement. After the great earthquake in Tohoku in 2011, I decided to buy a house as soon as possible. I will explain the reason later. Yes, this is the electronic piano I brought from Nagano. I have carpal tunnel syndrome in both hands, so I play piano to rehabilitate my hands. I started learning piano in my 40s, but my skill level is still intermediate. The bone density on my hands is not sufficient, but it does not interfere with my daily life. I'm a little embarrassed because my hands are not tidy. My room is small, so I use my bed as a chair. My piano has been set up, so I use two hours for playing piano and violin and one hour for walking as my daily routine. This evening, I decided to have dinner at the Mediterranean restaurant. I try to stay healthy by limiting my diet and eating out less, but this day was special. My daily diet consists mainly of grains, vegetables, fruits, and daily products. Let me show you what they are. This is soy meat. I put it back in water, and after draining water, I cook it. The seasoning is mostly ketchup. And then there is soy ham. I often eat it with sandwiches or fried eggs. Now I will talk while I'm eating. For now, cheers! I don't drink alcohol, so please excuse me for the soda. At this restaurant, I ordered tomato garlic toast and french fries. The olive oil was fantastic. After this dish, I also videotaped what I had the next day. It was a pancake with vegetables and eggs on top, which was soft and very tasty. The last one is a chocolate cake, which I had at the restaurant for my brother's birthday.
This tomato garlic toast with olive oil was very delicious. It's nice to eat out once in a while. Now let's get back to my home. Where was I? Yes, it was a time of the great earthquake in Tohoku in 2011. I was in Guam at the time, and it reminded me of the Bible verse. In the book of Matthew, it says about the second coming of Christ. For nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. I accepted this as a reality, and I would prepare myself for what was about to happen. If war broke out, we might have food shortages. Such a thought came up to my mind. Even now, there are wars shaking the world, such as one in Ukraine, and it is having a great impact on Japan. But at that time, Japan was in the midst of a difficult time after the big earthquake. As I was in Guam, I could only send donations. It was hard for me to think about buying a house. Yes, in times like this, you have to leave it to God. My thought was even if I couldn't do it, God would do it for me. One day in 2012, I found it. Yes, there was a used house for sale on top of a mountain in Nagano. That house had a large field, a river nearby, and a train station within a walking distance. It was at the price I could afford. I immediately contacted my niece in Japan, and I met up with her to see the property. Fortunately, my niece was working for a real estate agency at that time, so she gave me a lot of advice. The house itself was a ripped house at that time, but there was a field where I could grow vegetables and a river to get water in case of emergency. I really liked it here. But what I really liked about this place was the snowy landscape of the mountains. I immediately informed the seller of my intention to purchase this property and promised to bring the deposit next time. But I didn't know how God feels about it. Is it all right? I asked that in a prayer. And then this happened. One day I was at the bullet train station ticket counter with a deposit for the house, and I forgot my wallet there. I realized quickly I thought it might be gone, but I turned back immediately. I asked God, if I had my wallet, I would buy a house. If not, I would give up. I let God to decide. I ran to the ticket counter. My heart was pounding. Then, oh my, there it was. My wallet was hundreds of thousands of yen in it. I couldn't believe it, but I understood that this was God's go sign. 
so I decided to buy the house. Then the property was sold and the repair plan for my summer house began. There is much more to this story, but I think that's enough for today. Thank you for watching. Please watch again. This chocolate cake was very delicious.